boys, what is up? Chaos and Crowd here, back playing Death Mark. In the last episode, uh, we just went back to the masquerade, just <laughs> and investigating more sh stuff. But this time, we were with Diamond for the most of the time, and Pedro was also there. But the sad thing is, he disappeared a lot, like twice, in our investigation and. Once we got the elevator to work after doing a fixing ritual, uh, we f we went to the fourth floor, saw a red riding hood again, though we didn't really uh, do anything with her other than escape. We found Banshee wrapped around in silk, spider silk to be at specific. So yeah, I don't think that silk is even the right word, spider webs. <coughs> Uh, if it weren't for Aida as well, we most likely would have died. Because he was the one that made the elevator go down. And the elevator was a bitch. So, yeah. Now we're going to be going back to the masquerade again. I don't know if we'll be the last time or not. <clears throat> but we'll see. Though. I feel like we're going to get a different partner as well. Since Banshee and... Hero are acting erratic. That's what Diamond told us before we ended it off. I parked the car in the parking lot as always, and walk over to the street in the rain. I passed on a familiar road to hotel. To hotel? Okay. Oh, Jesus, Mashia. Right off. Man in trench coat cuts an imposing figure on the wet street corner, delivering him lights. You know damn well time is off the instant essence right now. I'm prepared for the words too. So make a radio chance to transfer them. Transfer them? Oh. Okay. Must be in pretty bad condition then. I didn't mention this over the phone. I met someone at Diamond's hospital. I went to a show Nakashima. Show? What's he doing there? Oh show. We're a hot topic. We've seen people in and out of like that. You shouldn't have heard about it. Figured they'd be talking about you. He contacted the fortune teller. Well, so now Sho wants to know about, knows about the case too. Uh, why didn't you just keep quiet? And all lady hands out business cards to anyone and everyone. It's a little pain. So, did you do the show? Uh, why would I? He cornered me. Asking for info on the case, but I drove him off. I just don't feel uneasy. You didn't say anything unnecessary, did you? Of course not. I just said to stay out of grown, out of grown up manners. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, okay. What? Oh. I'm on my vision tunnels and the blood vessel in my head just throbs. He didn't want to show involved either, but he really should have considered his words more carefully. Hmm. Any foots in the foot going on behind me? Can't be show? There's a head with a sudden sense of dread. Wait, Moe, what are you doing here? Thank goodness, you're after all. Good thing I came straight here. I got the results you asked me for. I'll look at her blankly for a moment. I don't even remember to ask her to use her connection to investigate. Yeah, okay. And only covered the really important parts. I heard something amazing from someone who was there at the time. Oh, well, like a hotel hopefully? No, not like that. Jeez. When I see someone who was there, absolutely one of the high school girls who was up to no good. Oh. Talk to one? This is legit, right? Even she is interested. Ooh, only the people who use masquerade really know what happened there. Hearing from someone of all this class. She knows a lot more knows her shit then. Her name's Akko. And an editorial department helped me track her down. She went to a nearby high school and did this part-time job apparently. And what's really important is that Akko said about her classmate Esco. When I pulls a voice recorder from her back and hits the play button.
Yeah, a friend introduced me to a part-time job. It was a month ago. Uh, I mean, I just did it on a whim. Yeah, so we're supposed to meet at a hotel in Muscogee. There's a system there where someone introduces us to customers. We get a lot of money from it, so everyone was dying to get hired. But one day, there was like an incident? Someone at school found out about a job. Like some good 32 shoes class classroom at school. She said she was going to tell a teacher, and Mula. Everyone freaked out and apologized to her, saying they'd stop. She wouldn't listen. If our parents found out, it'd be the worst thing ever. He'd beg, but she didn't budge. In the end, she wrote class to her, saying that she was going to treat a police with Ben Mula. They were totally freaked out, so went to the hotel that night. And at that point, there was no harm in going, you know? she was going to the police. So who knows why she was at the hotel? It made us all jumpy on the edge every day after that. Still nothing ever happened. So after that, Masquerade shut down. Because they uncovered something. Huh? The job. Yeah, I completely quit after that. <laughs> hmm. Cool. Nice and quick, I like it. It's Apko's testimony. Just the important parts, though. Well, I got a fascinated first-hand account. The rumors of red hair input. What was written in the guest book that we found in the hotel. What pieces are in that girl's confession? So what ended up happening to Esco? I don't know exactly, but apparently she stopped coming to school. According to Akko, she just suddenly stopped showing up. She just snorts. It's too perfect. Probably just being overly dramatic. Especially that part where about the red raincoat. Most people lose an umbrella than when it's raining. It's true. Huh? And she is right. It's possible that the raincoat was a sign for whoever she was waiting for, but hardly anyone comes down the street. It doesn't really fit. Is that all you have to tell us? Then hurry up and go home. Oh jeez, Mashita. So I really can't come with you? That would be really hard, you know. Apparently Moe really wants to come along. I don't want your mind to fuck, honey. I do feel bad. She worked and got us the info that she could... Or she, she worked and got us that info just so she could investigate with us. But, sorry, but you shouldn't be here. You have already been two victims. I can't get you wrap, wrapped up in this too. Oh, okay. I understand. Why not? I guess she's already over it. Shall do or no? Being on my tippy toes, like fucking always. She sounds worried about me. She disappears into around the street corner. A siren echoes in the wind, an unnatural howl in that distance. Luck of it, masquerade looming before us. What the hell happened inside the hunk of concrete? There's always a tragic cause to it. To the birth of a spirit, Red Riding Hood must be the same. When I can't watch my friends die, I slowly step forward, trying to escape from that, the unease that's tightening, threatening to engulf me. It's not right for the dead to meddle with the living. Make sure he munches beside me. Is that a personal creed? Nah, just what I think. Make sure he clits his tongue. The windfall. Akko's testimony. All right, let's go in. Ugh. Hey, as I step into the log, machine it stops in front of me. What's wrong? What a fantastic job you've done here. Huh? What are you talking about? Fuck. What the fuck? Whoa. That that shit wasn't there two days yesterday. It was clean as hell. Mainly clean. The lobby is definitely different. The room is covered in white. No, it wasn't like this yesterday. Thought so. These are webs? That's what it looks like. Machine touches one of the floating threads. 
I thought she's up, up the ante. Bring it. Time to make her an appointment with her lady friend. Just then. Oh shit. The groan of the elevator moving echoes. Did the elevator just come back to its first floor? That mean someone's right here? Did you did you see which floor it came from? No, I wasn't looking. Nick, I was looking at the webs. I oh, feel like it took a while between the when I heard the noise on its arrival. I'm betting it's one of the upper floors. Maybe the fourth or fifth. Honestly, I think it's the fourth. Since she's sensed us coming here, I won't be surprised if it was from the fourth. That's where we got the elevator working and managed to get to the fourth floor. But because of what happened to Banshee, we weren't able to investigate any higher. Okay, let's start on the fourth floor. Alright. Alright. There you go. I don't have to look around. And fourth. Here we go. <coughs> Alright. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, wait. There's a painting. What is this one? About? Mesh Great Wife. Uh, it's a mask running down a trail. Okay. Let's go to the left. See what's popping. Oh, it's more webs. Pick up the mask and find a talisman. Ooh! I really like that. Thank you so much. Anything? Hmm. Whoa! Oh no. She was in the flesh. It's a folding table, chair stored away. Alright. Yeah. Oh man. I'm already anxious. Some kind of slime. Oh? Is there anything in a trash can? A lot of paper falls out. Oh, what the hell is that? Not a talisman? That's interesting. Is that literally it? Faint laugh. I don't hear anything more coming from it. Oh, wow. Okay. Two masks. Wasn't there a mask missing from one of the rooms? I take it down to examine it, but it's just a mask. Feels like it's staring at me, though. Still. As if it has some life. Hmm. Alright. Uh, think Anything? Ooh. I don't want to do this, but we st I still need to check it out. Shut my eyes and stick my fingers down the drain. Touch something hard? Something cylindrical is down there. It's only like my fingers don't seem to be able to reach it. Something is in there? It's often a prime location to hide incriminating objects. It's likely an important piece of the ev ev evidence. You should get it. Oh, fucking hell, dude. I don't have a vacuum thing. Mate. I don't know what to do. Hmm. Anything? Dark red in the water. Dark red water in the bathtub? My nose rebels. I just got a stench of iron. Blood. That's what makes blood red, right? Or that's what makes blood red? Dye iron? Let's go back to the left. I don't think... That church... That... Oh, wait, shit, I've missed this. Pull up with a draw and find... A notebook. Mass guest notebook 104. Or... 401, shit. Nani? It's a guest book provided by the hotel. Guests write about their experiences in it. I glance through the pages. 
This guest book, guest book's entire entries are clearly different from all the other ones. It covers a number of horrifying topics such as devil worship and all kinds of torture. Every page is crammed with stuff like that. It's very different from the other notebooks. It's impossible to tell which ones are delusions and which ones actually took place. The only thing I can say for sure is that it's searching with a twisted, single-minded appetite. I stand lately hand over the guest book. <coughs> but she has skims through a dense perks. Ah, that's quite the hobby. The handwriting writing differs by page. This was written by several guests. I find that hard to believe. Sincerely, I sincerely doubt there are so much many people in the world who have such a unique hobby. The world's an interesting place, just to say that. The population's pretty damn big. They're like moths drawn to a flame. You wouldn't even know who to look at them. The pieces are finally coming together. Seems this hotel off the special service for its perverted guests. Hmm. You mean the kind of stuff written in that guest book? Yeah, the kids working that part-time job were probably part of it too. Guaranteed their safety and complete confidentiality, of course. After all, the one who sold his soul was probably most nervous about that. Still, these people have quite the imagination. She mutters sarcastically as he casually leaves through the pages, then he stops. Hey, this phrase, do you know what it means? What is it? Jorogumo's punishment? Joraguma? It's a spider monster from Japanese folklore that can shape look shape shift into beautiful women. God damn it. I said the aesthetics of Red Riding Hood as a spirit. It's innocent and she looks aesthetically pleasing. Now you're tr now you're driving it home, man. Zero trust. So, so you do know about it. Thanks for, so much for the info dump. I ignored a hint of sarcasm in his voice and read the rest of the page. Jorogomo's punishment is a recreation of a genre legend. He captured a large spider he could find. A wild one would be best. Sharpened of sacrifice his senses with drugs and use a mouse speculum to keep their mouth open. Throw the spider in two now. They may just swallow it, they're innocent. They don't, or the spider escapes, they're dead, they're guilty. It's a witch trauma meant to judge truth from lie. If I get the sacrifice day that needs punishment, I'd like to try it out immediately. Jeez, dude, what the fuck? It can't be that, it can't be that what's written here was actually... Did someone actually do this? Who knows? Hey, calm down, take a deep breath. It's okay. I'm calm. I doubt Mashita believes me. It's obvious that I'm totally rattled. Don't forget, Captain. We can't die here. That's true, son. Of course, I know that. I try to keep my reply as steady as possible. My hands keep shaking it as I put the gift book in my bag. Oh, no, damn it. Oh, God. Got the demonic rituals. Jesus, this is some ghost adventures type shit. Cause it, I, did, I felt that vibe from just playing the main game, but now without the mark, it totally feels like ghost adventures times a hundred. I'm, I'm telling you, dude. All right. <clears throat> uh, can we go to the elevator? Go to fifth floor. Ah, oh, shit. The quote unquote final floor? What the fuck is this? Masquerade wife. It's a picture of a masked wife holding hands with a child? That doesn't want to. It doesn't look like that, dude. Also, it's one of those things. No! Wait. I thought I wanted to go okay. In touristing. Hey, shine the light inside. Whoa, what the fuck? A body 
has finally turned up. Let's check it out. Right. survive this. Let's check the coffin. A book among the junk? Ooh. Monster Encyclopedia. Ooh. It's about different monsters from around Japan and their associated legends. She flips through the book. Is the spider thing there? Uh, so the spider monster originally killed people by drowning them in the water. What? That sounds right. Okay, that's weird. I remember reading a legend like that in one of the books piled by my desk at Kujo Mansion. It usually targets woodcutters or hunters, but they're uh, uh, always saved at the last minute. Every region has a story like that. Saved? How? They use a tree stump. The spider takes it instead. Then the protagonist escapes. Hmm, I don't get it all. That's the same, dude. I feel ya. There's no point in complaining about folklore. In any case, this will make for a good reference. Take it with you. Alright. Alright, corpse. What's up with you? I touch it, something flakes off. It looks like traces of dried skin. The corpse is almost a complete skeleton. A small snatcher, but based on the thickness, thickness of the bones, it's likely an adult male. Considering how dried out it is, it's a... It's been here for at least a year already. The same time, so this body was here since the closing of this thing, this masquerade place. Promises the COD. Nishida meticulously searches the corpse, then finally shakes his head. I just can't tell. Was he strangled by spiderwebs? Quit joking around. Joke, huh? It'd be great if that all, that's all it was. Still, this skeleton. He must have been in pain when he died. His face is all twisted. I guess I can see that. If it was an adult male, then he was likely a guest here. No matter how hard I try to synthesize, I just can't. Hey, look at this. If she suddenly tosses something at me. <clears throat> I found it earlier. Falling to the guy. It's all some fuel left. Keep it in your bag or something. Cheap lighter. Oh, okay. Uh, bathroom. Hey, more cologne stuff. Alright, what's in here? Bent, bent hanger? Hey, what? What happened? Oh, no. This one's locked? Okay. And... Oh, you can get the banked hanger and use it on that room in the fourth floor. Alright. I think it was on my left, right? Here we go, cool. Alright. Hmm, you know what? An idea hits me. I take out the bent hanger. I should be able to bend this into any shape I want. Alright, I bend it into one straight wire so it can fit down the drain. I stick it down and move it up and down. Here it's not a dirty wire being dislodged and it's hard. Oh, it's the key to five two. One key is a tang that says Deluxe Sweet. Ooh, that'll come in handy. Good thing it wasn't washed down the drain. Yeah. There's still sticky white threads wrapped around this key too. Seems like they stopped it from falling all the way down the pipe. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> Elevator time again. Let's finally use the damn key. <coughs> uh, 
Hello. Oh, what the fuck? Anything in this coffin? There's a book among the junk, again. Demon Encyclopedia. This book says Perry is demons and demonic crests and lists their characteristics. I guess the guests here were interested in stuff like that. Why do you have occult stuff? Broken wooden horse. Got your left off the wooden horse. I noticed something that catches the light. Picked up and discovered some metal tool. So now it's... Wait, what? Now it's Beculum? Oh, the one that makes... That forces your mouth open. Usually used for medical purposes, but some maniacs use them for other things. Huh. Just as I'm replying to Mashita. What? A white light flashes before my eyes and I black out. I hear some someone sobbing. Oh, I think this is the I think this is the picture that got censored in America. And I don't think I have the I don't think I've moved the patch, so whatever. My eyes should be open, but everything is pitch black. I shake my head desperately and try to look around. Oh yeah, it's black out. Yeah. A whole little image flows into my mind. What is this? A young girl is blindfolded and restrained. The mouth is being forced open with that tool. You can see the image online, of course. Her breathing is ragged. She must have been taken. She must have given a type of drug or something. <laughs> man speaks theatrically behind him. The court has decided to give the accused a fair trial and will judge her crimes. The trial will now begin. Ah, spider. Oof. I shall put the spider into the accused's mouth, and if it crawls out, she is guilty. If she can swallow it, she is innocent. Upon hearing that, the girl starts jerking around frantically. Her movements haphazard. slug to the jaw, I finally returned to my senses. That's right, I'm in a room at Masquerade. Time to vision I just saw. What did I just see? I went somewhere. You haven't gone anywhere. You just fell on the floor and stared. Started rising. I feel like you're woken from a long dream. I can't believe that wasn't that was a hallucination. You finally calm down? <laughs> yeah. I'm fine now. I wipe sweat off my forehead and swallow. That girl who was restrained. Was that Esco? If it is so, then... Was she unable to go to the police because she was caught by people here? Hmm. That's a shit way to die. I know I said that earlier. Damn. Oh. Shit, okay. What's in here? Bath salts, insect repelling cream? Insect repelling? Why here? Hmm. That was covered in dents and scratches. Too many too many for it to be natural wear. Going by the appearance of the room, horrible things probably happened in here too. Big no nos. I'm getting out of here. Alright. 
What's this? If there's, I hear footsteps as I stand, step into the hallway. I turn to the direction of the noise to see. Show? Whoa. He, he actually appeared. Show is standing right there. But she said he ran into him at the hospital, but... I can't, be, I can't believe he came. He's not replying. What the hell? What's the matter? I take a step towards him, but Mashita stops me. Wait, something's not right. I look closely at Sho's face. No, it couldn't be. His face is unnaturally stiff. Suddenly, suddenly he begins yelling angrily. Jesus. Combo. Machine suddenly appears next to him and throws a direct punch at his face. Oh, nice. <coughs> just a just one punch? Okay. Oh, survived. Sho trumbles to the ground. As he falls, his blast flies through the air and Whoa, what? And luckily for me it collides into the side of my head, and I collapse with a pitiful yelp. Dumbass. Wow, okay. She incredibly grabs Sho's arm and completely restrains him. As Machi pulls his weight on him, Sho groans painfully. Finally, he faints. Hey, Kassin, you okay? Yeah, it just grazed me. I sit up and gently shake my head back and forth. Thankfully, everything seems fine. Then give me a hand. We need to carry him out of here. Her, his vo pro he's probably like the others now. We better hurry. To think Shaw would end up as the third victim. I managed to make myself stand, but this, my spirits have dropped down to my feet. Yeah, but there's a third victim, and you got hit in the head anyways. Though apparently you got grazed only. It's still sprinkling outside. Shaw's out of the hotel. Finally we have a chance to catch our breaths. We'll call off the investigation for today. Yeah. Banshee and Hero flash before my eyes. But Joe's safety should come first. Let's go ahead and bring him to the hospital. I'll go get the car. Good idea. Yours is better for moving sick people around. I take out the car key and stand up. Just as I do. Uh, let me guess I'm sorry. 
piercing pain runs through my side of my head, and I fall back to my knees. Kev, that's just a headache. I thought it had gone away, so why? I got hit right where it hurts. So. I just rested there. But show. You're injured too, so take it easy. I'll take Nagashima in my car. You wait here until I get back, got it? I'll come straight back for one after I drop him off. Sorry, show is in your hands now. She collects show and disappears. The soft pitter patter of rain permeates the area. The sound of the rain seems to make this place even quieter now. Hmm, I know something. The noises aren't the only thing that's vanished. The pain is gone. The intense headache has faded, like it never was. This happened to me twice before. Hold on. I'm unsuspicious. I think back to the times when I had a headache. First is when I went inside my grave with Diamond and Banshee. I can't be really sure if I want to keep everyone together. But then I had a headache and Banshee up and disappeared. The next headache came in the following morning. Thanks to Kira and Banshee, but in the end I was able to get Is this a clear trend? Just now? I was going to the hospital for show and Banshee. I keys at the entrance to Masquerade. I start to fill those seats and doors. I feel like I can see red figures. It's the most of them. I need a red face. There's no way in here now. I don't respect so much. They have always attacked me. Come along. So, do what you will. Hmm. Come on back here. Sensei. Ah, oh, fuck. A voice calls from the darkness as if it was waiting for me. Oh no. <laughs> this is against my will. No. What are you? T Telling me to do. Red's red. A top floor and a room of masks. The sixth floor. Well, we had to do a combination. <laughs> She'll be waiting. All right. Red Riding Hood finger figure melts silently into the elevator. Elevator. As she does, the elevator's floor display begins blinking on and off erratically. <coughs> the combination. You know it, don't you, Sensei? Your voice rever reverberates throughout the elevator. So she's telling me to go to her. But this combination, what in the world could that be? Hold up. You know, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it off here, and leave us trying to get to the sixth floor for next episode, and probably the end of this game for real. So yeah. Anyways, I'll leave it off here, man. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like for this episode, and don't forget to subscribe and share with our friends. Shall see you. I'm sorry you watching Access Jam, man. Peace.